Today I'm going to take you from zero to a deep learning powered mobile app with Ionic, Firebase, and Google Cloud Vision. You might have seen this app before. It's ready. Please, God. Holy sh <laughs> yes! It works! Huzzah! Just do pizza. Yeah. Do pizza. Okay. Hey, Zach. Not hot dog? Wait, what the fuck? Eh? Not only will our app be able to detect hot dogs, but it can also label any image using Google's deep learning infrastructure. And it's actually a lot more sophisticated than you might think. As you can see here, if we upload a hot dog, it correctly labels it as such. But what happens if we try to trick it by sending it a picture of a pug in a hot dog costume? It's smart enough to know that that's not an actual hot dog and labels it instead as a pug. If you like building cool apps, make sure to subscribe and follow along with the source code at angularfirebase.com. Let's take a closer look at how this works. The user will upload an image from our Ionic app to Firebase storage. That's going to invoke a cloud function, which will send the image to the Google Vision API. It does its deep learning magic and converts the image into a set of labels. We save those labels in Firestore so they can be read in our front-end Ionic app in real time. To get started with this project, you'll first want to start a new Ionic app using the blank template. Then CD into your project and run Firebase init functions. This will associate your project with Firebase and create a folder called functions in the root of the project. And make sure to select TypeScript when prompted for that option. After that, you're going to want to CD into the functions directory, and then we're going to install the Google Cloud Vision library. Cloud Vision is a library that takes an image as its input and returns a whole bunch of data extracted from that image. It exposes a high-level API to access deep learning algorithms that have been trained on millions of images. It can also do more advanced things like facial recognition and text extraction, which I'm going to cover in a video for Pro members. Our next step for this app is to go into the storage console and create a brand new bucket for the Cloud Vision function. The reason we do this is because Firebase functions can't be scoped to specific file locations, so it's best to have a dedicated bucket specifically for invoking the function. After that, go into the Rules tab and make sure to enable read and write access for this bucket. As you may know, every Firebase project is also a Google Cloud Platform project. Cloud Vision is not enabled by default, so you need to go into the Cloud Platform console to the APIs tab, then find Cloud Vision and enable it. Before we build the actual mobile app in Ionic, I want to build out the cloud function just so you know how everything works on the back end. So go into your index.ts file in the functions directory, then import Firebase functions as well as the admin SDK. Because we have Cloud Vision enabled on the Cloud Platform console, we can just import it and then instantiate a new Vision client. There's no need to add API keys to the environment or anything like that. Then we need to set a variable for the name of the storage bucket, otherwise Firebase is going to try and use our default bucket. From there I'll export a constant for our actual function, which I'm calling image tagger. It's going to be a storage function that points to our bucket name. Then we'll call object on change and return an async function, which just ensures that we return a promise from this operation. Now, inside the function code, I'll set up a couple variables here for the actual file data and the file name, which is going to be important later on, because the file name needs to correspond to the document ID in the Firestore database. The image URI is the actual stored file location, which is going to be used by Cloud Vision to read the actual raw file. So we'll upload the file from Ionic, but for right now, all you need to know is that that file path is going to have the same ID as its data in Firestore. So we'll just split off the JPEG from it and then use it to make a reference to the actual document in Firestore, which is in the photos collection. At this point, we can do all of the deep learning magic with a single line of code. We can await the results from our vision client by calling label detection and passing it that image URI. It responds with a big object of data, but we don't need everything there, so we're just going to map it down to the label descriptions that we want to show the user on the front end. We also want to know if there's a hot dog in this image, so to do that, we can just look at this array of strings and use the fancy new includes method to see if there is a hot dog string in this array, which will return true or false. Now there's only one step left, and that is to save this data in Firestore, 
we already have a document reference, so we can just say doc ref set with the corresponding data. Now you can go ahead and deploy this function and try it out. Go into Firebase Storage and upload an image that you think might be a hot dog, but just aren't 100% sure. Then jump over to the Firestore database and go into the photos collection, and you should see a document that looks something like this. We have a hot dog boolean value, and then an array of a bunch of strings that label this image. Our backend is working perfectly. Let's CD back into Ionic and generate a new page called Vision. Then we have a couple dependencies that we need to install in our project. The first one is the native camera Cordova plugin, which will give us access to a camera on a native mobile device. Then we'll also install Angular Fire 2 to make Firebase more friendly inside of an Angular environment. Follow the install instructions for both packages and then open your app module file. For Angular Fire, you can see we're importing Firestore as well as the storage module. Import the camera here as well and then make sure to add your Firebase configuration to this configuration object. The Firebase modules are going to go in the import section. The vision page goes in entry components and the camera goes in the providers array. After that, we just need to go into the app component and instead of using the home page as the root page, we're going to swap that out for the vision page. Now we can switch over to that vision page and write all of the front end code. First, we'll bring in the loading controller from Ionic and also a few things here from RxJS and Angular Firestore and Fire Storage. And of course, our Ionic camera. Then we'll go ahead and set up a few variables here in the page. The first one is the upload task. Then we'll declare an observable for the actual results that we get back from Firestore. We can also set up variables for the loading indicator and the image itself to show those in the front end as well. From there, we need to add all of our dependencies to the constructor. Again, those include Firestore, storage, the camera, and the loading controller. We can also instantiate the loading object in the constructor, which we do by calling loading controller create, and you can customize this as well. At this point, we need to define a method that will start the actual upload process. It takes the file as an argument, and then it will present the loading spinner once it's triggered. Then we'll generate a random ID for our document and our file name. So the actual file name is going to be the document ID followed by JPEG. And then we'll use that ID to make a reference to Firestore. Again, it's important that these two values match because that's how we keep track of the file in storage and its location in the Firestore database. Then we'll make a reference to it in Firestore, even though that document doesn't technically exist at this point. We call value changes to get it as an observable and then it's going to emit null initially, so we want to filter that value out. When we do get a value, we want to dismiss the loading indicator so the user can see the results in the front end. For that, we can use the tap operator and then call loading dismiss. Now we're ready to handle the actual file. The camera is going to return it in a base64 format, which is just a big long encrypted string, but Firebase needs it in a specific format, so all we have to do is append it to this string here. Then we can just make a reference to that storage location, which again should match the document ID. And then instead of calling upload, we call put string with the actual image itself. The only missing piece at this point is how do we get the actual image from the camera? For that part, I'm going to set up an async function because the camera returns the image as a promise. And then it's important that the destination type is a data URL. Then because this is an async function, we can await the operation, which is going to return the actual base64 string. So we await the camera to get the picture with our configuration options. And then after that, we'll go ahead and start the upload. Now we just have a couple things to set up in the page template. First, we wanna give the user a button that they can tap that will start the actual process to capture the image. After that, I set up an ng if statement so we can unwrap the results observable. And based on that result, we should know if the image is a hot dog or not. So if it is, then we'll go ahead and display a green button. If it's not, we'll display a red button. Then we also have an array of labels in that result. So we can go ahead and loop over them and we'll display an ionic chip for each one. At this point, we should be good to go. If we run either an iOS or Android emulator, we should be able to get the Cloud Vision API results in our actual front end ionic app. I'll go ahead and run the Android emulator with the Pixel 2 and we'll see how everything turned out. I've saved a couple images on this emulator and we'll go ahead and select the hot dog. 
and you can see it uploads to storage and then after a couple seconds or so we get the results back and of course this is a hot dog. If this video helped you please like and subscribe and if you're serious about building apps consider becoming a pro member at angularfirebase.com. You'll get access to all kinds of exclusive content designed to help you build and ship your app faster. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.